taking a new approach to getting public feedback for the future of downtown Indianapolis. The city is partnering with community groups and artists to hear from as many people as possible, both online and in person. Fox 59's Eric Graves explains this story and how the city is bringing you to the planning table. Eric? With so much happening in downtown Indy right now, the city wants to capitalize on that momentum and hear from people who live, play, and work down here about what could be better. We all talk about how downtown is the center of our city and of our state, but does it feel like everybody's place to be? That is the question Scarlett Andrews, the director of Metropolitan Development for Indianapolis, wants you to answer. So we do have this incredible sense of momentum in terms of investment in our south downtown. With projects and improvements happening at Gamebridge, Market Street, the Convention Center, and more, Andrews and others have put together a plan of what they think the future of South Downtown should look like. But now we want to hear is, did we get it right? Which is where Gang Gang comes in. So we are out uh, getting the public excited and aware of this plan. Molly Jeffers and Alan Bacon are the co-founders of the creative agency Gang Gang. They're in charge of leading community engagement and getting as many voices as possible involved through social media and conversations. We are meeting people where they are, which is online, and which is downtown. Sharing your thoughts on social media with Gang Gang is easy. Just open up your Twitter or Facebook page, create a post, type hashtag downtown indie, and then share your thoughts about what you think could be better, and post. And we're already seeing um, a high level of engagement that way. The other way Gang Gang plans to hear from people, community conversations, and prompts posing questions throughout downtown. Downtown, what do you want your vibe yeah. to be here? Hey, do you want to design downtown with us? The idea is to get as many different people involved as possible. We want to hear from art students. We want to hear from high school students and college students and people that are experiencing housing inequalities right here in our downtown. The community outreach is going to go for about five weeks before the city starts to put together an overall plan in the summer. Reporting in downtown Indy, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News.